This video will show you how to install Driverless AI with Docker on macOS. Keep in mind that macOS computers should only be used with small data sets for the purpose of exploring the software. Before we start, let's open a page in the documentation that will help us during the installation process. Navigate to docs.h2o.ai, then click the link for the latest stable Driverless AI user guide. On the left-hand side of this page, we're going to click Installing and Upgrading Driverless AI. Next, we're going to click on the link for Mac OS. Now we're ready to start. First thing we need to do is navigate to the Driverless AI Downloads page. This page provides links for a number of H2O Suite products. And the first one that we see is Driverless AI. This product is offered in two separate release forms, the latest stable and the long-term support releases. So you can pick whichever one is best suited to your needs. For this video, we're gonna click on the button for the latest stable release. We're using a machine that's running Mac OS, so we're going to click on the Mac tab. And on the right hand side is a download link for the Driverless AI Docker image. The size of this file is about 7 gigabytes, so this download can take some time depending on the speed of your connection. Once we have the image downloaded, we're going to download Docker from Docker Hub. This link is available on the docs page that we opened earlier. You'll need to create an account on Docker Hub in order to start the download. I already have Docker installed, so we can move on to the next step, which is to adjust a setting in Docker. We're going to click on the Docker icon at the top of the screen and select Preferences from the drop-down menu. Next, we're going to click on the Advanced tab. The setting we want to adjust is the amount of memory allocated to Docker. And we want to make sure that this is set to at least 10 gigabytes in order for Driverless AI to run properly. Remember to click on the Apply and Restart button to confirm this change. Once we have Docker set up correctly, we're going to create a folder for the version of Driverless AI that we want to install. I'm going to create the folder in Terminal with the make directory command. And in this video, I'm installing version 1.7.1. Now we're going to move the Driverless AI image we downloaded earlier to this folder. Make sure Docker is running before you move the image file. Next, we're going to make sure that we're in the new directory that we created and we're going to use the docker load command from the docs page with our images version added to it. Loading the image can take a while depending on how powerful your machine is. The next step is to create a few folders in the new driverless AI directory. These commands are also on the docs page so we can just copy and paste them into Terminal. Now we can run the docker images command, which will give us the image tag we need for the next step. This tag for 1.7.1 .1 is the tag we'll be using. Copy the docker run command on the docs page and replace tag with the image tag from the previous step. Now copy paste this into terminal and press enter. And that's it. We've successfully installed driverless AI. 
we can open driverless by connecting to the local host address. If this is your first time using driverless, you'll be prompted to enter a license key if you haven't already provided one. Once you've provided a key, you can start adding datasets and running experiments in driverless. This concludes our video for installing driverless AI on macOS.